Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. According to SQM research, weekly listing numbers have dropped in Sydney from the 700-800 range down to the 500-600 range. Although sporadic listing volumes can make it difficult to read the market, Sydney house price growth is still anticipated to grow by 4% this year to an overall 23% according to recent ANZ forecasts. These market conditions indicate that Sydney's lockdowns have not dampened buyers' demand as what was originally thought and auction clearance rates remain consistently strong. Recent lockdown clarifications have also allowed investors to continue inspecting homes in person, stating that it is reasonable excuse to leave home to inspect an investment property rather than to inspect solely a potential place of residence. However, Sydney investors are still banned from leaving the city to look at property. The average number of property inspections across Greater Sydney was down 26% over the four weeks to mid-August, compared with the same period pre-lockdown. But buyer activity has picked up in recent weeks, with average inspections up 6.8%. House prices in some of the most sought-after suburbs in Australia have been rising as much as 20,000 a week in a month before lockdown. In particular, Domain's house price report shows Hornsby was increasing 18,000 a week in the June quarter. Prices continue to rise on the back of ultra-low interest rate government assistance, cash savings from cancelled overseas holidays or entertainment, and demand for bigger homes to spend more time in, making it a challenge for hopeful savers to keep up, especially in the time where there is a lack of wage growth and COVID restrictions on workers. Lockdown home owners have also been using their savings to pay up their mortgages. New figures reveal on the number of people discharging their mortgages in New South Wales hits an all-time high. In July this year, more than 27,000 residential mortgages were discharged from New South Wales titles, up 37.1% on July 2020, according to New South Wales Land Registry Services data. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. And we will see you next time.